It's that time of year again, bro. Dark mornings, rain, and cold weather. This is the season where most men are unmotivated and where they decide to take things easy. But for men like me and you, we understand that we need to capitalize on these opportunities. We're aware that using these times to our advantage are what will allow us to get ahead of the competition. We know that we need to work strategically and stay disciplined, but how exactly can you make this the greatest winter arc of your life? Let's talk about it, mate. So tip number one, we want to be keeping your mission a secret and disappear. Don't tell anybody about your mission. Don't tell anybody about your objectives and your goals. You want to be doing the hard work and eating the frog in silence. Essentially, if you don't know what eating the frog means, it means you're going to wake up and you're going to do the hardest task first. The one that's going to move the needle, you're going to do it first because this is where you're most focused. This is when you're most energized. You're not going to be piss-assing around with smaller tasks that don't actually achieve anything for you. You're going to be eating that frog first thing in the morning and doing the hard work. And as I said, we're not going to let anybody know about our mission because we're going to let the results show for themselves. Okay, if you have to share it with people, you can, but share it only with the people who motivate you and the people who are on a similar path to you, because this way you can keep each other accountable. They're the only people who are deserved of knowing this knowledge about your mission and your purpose and your goals. Don't waste your time with other people. Tip number two, seek revenge. Now, by this, I don't mean you're going to go out and kill every single person that's, you know, hurt you in the past. That's not, ex that's not at all <laughs> what I mean. Okay, I'm talking about finding that fuel and find that competition within you feel the hurt feel the pain that people have caused you and use that use that as fuel and motivation to do the hard work to do the things that you're finding hard to do you know use that as fuel and what you're going to do is bury the people that have done shit to you in the past bury them but with your success and with your achievements they're going to hate the fact that you've done all this stuff they're going to hate the fact that you've succeeded that's what we're going for and it's easy for people to say oh you know why do you care about other people and stuff like that because as men that's how we thrive we thrive on competition okay people say you only need to compete with yourself but fuck that shit bro okay you don't just need to compete with yourself we'll let other people compete with themselves and you know we'll see how they get on right we'll, we'll compare where we are in 20 years to how they are in 20 years the us the men who have decided to compete with other men we're going to be levels above, levels above. And if we're not, then maybe you did something else wrong along the way. But competition is key. And use that revenge, use that hurt, use that pain to show them that you're the boss, that you're the man, okay? Tip number three, no social life and no distractions. During the winter arc, what's better than literally knuckling down and not wasting any more time? That means no parties. Literally delete social media. Get serious, right? Get serious about instant gratification. For how long are you going to say that you're not going to use this anymore? For You're not going to use TikTok anymore. You're not going to watch these videos. You're not going to do anything like this anymore. How long have you been saying that? And when have you actually taken action on it? If you really want this winter arc to be the absolute f***ing greatest shit of your entire life, you've got to get serious. You've got to get angry. You know, you have to actually use these things as fuel. Use them as motivation. You can literally get confidence from knowing that you're not using these things. You're not bowing down to instant gratification. And this confidence that you're going to get from knowing that I don't need this shit. I don't need these phones. I don't need these films. I don't need to fap. I don't need to watch porn. I don't need to listen to music. All of these things are going to make you feel like the Donny. And then you're going to be able to apply that confidence into the areas of your life that you need to improve. Your career, your physique. All of these things are going to be A1 because you've given yourself that confidence. A great tip is you can grayscale your phone. Turn your phone to black and white. I've talked about this a lot before in the past. And if you don't want to do that, you can use the Minimalize phone app. And let me just find it. Right, so I've got my phone here and I'm going to show you what this app is. But essentially, you could either grayscale your phone or you can go one step further. I think it's called Minimalist Phone App or something like that. I can't remember. But essentially, this is what it's going to do to your phone, right? So it gets rid of all the apps and it just writes it out in text instead. So if I want to find a particular app, right? If I want to find YouTube, I can just search YouTube and it's going to come up like that. Bam. So that's my YouTube. Honestly, you can't go wrong because all of the different colors on the phone screen are there literally to distract you. That's why you end up spending five hours on your phone instead of, you know, five minutes essentially. So think about this. No social life, no distractions. If you really mean business, you're going to take this seriously. This is what you're going to be doing. Okay. Tip number four, 
eat the frog and move the needle. As I said earlier, when you're gonna be doing the hard work, you're gonna do the hardest task first because when you wake up in the morning, that's when you're most focused, right? And then you can do shallow tasks. In other words, you can do the tasks that don't really have as much of an effect on your life later on in the day when you're more tired, okay? But early in the morning, you're gonna eat that frog, okay? Essentially, that means you're gonna do the thing that moves the needle. And the best way you can do this is through deep work. And I've spoken about this before, but deep work is essentially where you work for 90 minutes or one hour with no distractions, no phone, you're not gonna be going to the toilet, you're not gonna be eating, not drinking, you're just zoned in on your computer or on your workbook or whatever you're doing, and you're gonna set a timer, right? I'm gonna set a timer, for example, for 60 minutes to do all of this work, to record these videos, to write some scripts and prepare some videos. I'm gonna do this for 60 minutes, solid, no distractions. This is what's actually gonna move the needle. These are the things that, that are gonna give me the life that I want. And if you're not sure what work to do, do the things that nobody else is doing to achieve the things that nobody else has. Just take a look around you. What are your friends doing? What are your family doing? The chances are most of them are pretty much doing all the same thing. You wanna be doing none of that. You wanna be doing everything different. So if you feel unique, if you feel different, that's perfect, absolutely perfect. Like you couldn't ask for a better result than that. Tip number five, get yourself out of your comfort zone and learn a new skill. Get yourself to that martial arts gym to become a warrior, right? both mentally and physically. When you're put in an environment where you're fighting other men, honestly, there is nothing that brings you a certain confidence, right, that fighting and being out of your comfort zone like that does. This is gonna be fantastic because you can apply this confidence to every single other area of your life, right? You're gonna be confident when trying to speak to women, when trying to work on your career plan, when trying to do this, do that, because nothing else is gonna be as bad as getting punched in the face, okay? So this is absolutely fantastic. You have to think of warriors in, in our history, right? Think of them, exactly what they did. They did this because it helped them to satisfy their intrinsic needs and instincts. It literally filled them with fulfillment. It filled them with satisfaction. This is what gave them the confidence to provide for their families. If they didn't know that they could fight, then they might not have known that they could do this. They might not have known that they could do this, okay? so. Be different, be in the top 1% of young men, be in the top 1% of people and do the thing that people aren't willing to do. So get out of your comfort zone and learn a new skill, learn a language, learn how to make a high income and learn how you can be as free as possible in this life. And you can do that by reading books and learning from what other people say that have done there and that have been there. Be smart, be smart bro, be smart. Tip number six, write down your mission. Now, this is actually the first thing you need to do, but I put it here because it's the unsexy answer, that's the truth. And if I put it at the start of the video, you fuckers probably would have clicked off. <laughs> I don't know why I wrote it like that, but that's, that is the truth, man. You, you probably would have clicked off if I'd written this down at the start. And to be fair, if I'd watched this video a year or two ago, I probably would have clicked off as well because this is something you hear all the time. Write down your goals, write down your objectives. It's just so unsexy, but it's so important because once you have everything written down and you have a, a plan that's in front of you, that means you know where you're going and you have no choice but to follow this. And a really great way to follow this is, first of all, make sure the goals are actually doable because this season, the winter arc, right? The winter season is the most resistive one. This is the one where we struggle to wake up. We struggle to do the hard work because of the weather. We're, we're naturally on a lower vibration. So you wanna make sure these goals are actually doable, okay? And the best way that you can actually follow through with these goals is by using a habit tracker, just like this one here. And you can write it down, you can write it on a piece of paper. I find that when I write it, I'm more than likely to follow it. It's better than printed in my opinion. And what's happened here is, as you can see, this person's written down all of the different goals that they want to achieve. And you can do exactly the same thing. And then they've written the days across here like that. And then they've crossed off every single day that they've completed. And this is gonna show you a streak and once you start to see a bit of a streak going, you're not gonna to wanna to break that streak. So this is important. Write down your mission, follow the goals, follow the objectives, and this is gonna get you to achieve all of these other little things here, okay? Fantastic. If you wanna increase your muscle mass, I'm giving you a free diet plan in the description below. Believe you can, and you're more than halfway there.